Welcome to the demonstration of 32Soft's Item Master Data Loader. This data loader was designed especially for QAD users who work with a large number of items in the QAD 1.4.1 menu and who are looking for a faster, easier, and accurate way to manage this crucial data. You'll find this efficient and productive tool allows you to download data from QAD into Excel spreadsheets where you can easily manage item details. Then, quickly and safely, upload your revised data right back into QAD. Let's take a look at how Item Master Data Loader can help you manage your items with greater efficiency and accuracy. As all of 32 Soft Data Loaders, when we open the Item Master, we see a familiar Excel spreadsheet with the addition of the Data Loader banner. The banner includes filtering options and action buttons, which allow us to download data from and upload data to QAD. To get started, we must first select the correct database. We click the Setup button to find the appropriate database and select it. We can set up as many databases here as needed. The fields in the header highlighted in yellow allow us to filter records by item number, product line, item type, design group, item group, item status, buyer planner, or supplier ranges. If we leave the filter fields open, Item Master Data Loader will automatically download all item records in the QAD 1.4.1 menu. Once the filter parameters have been entered, we can select the Download button. The first time any of the action buttons are selected, a login screen appears. As with all our data loaders, Item Master uses QAD authentication logic to validate user ID and password. By default, the Item Master loader validates that the user has access to the QAD 1.4.1 menu. Alternately, this can be set up so that a user only has access to a custom menu set up specifically for this data loader, rather than the full QAD 1.4.1 menu. This is important if you want to limit accessibility to certain fields or functions of Item Master. We'll discuss more about this during the demonstration. Let's go ahead and log in. The data is downloaded and we now see all records that match our search criteria. And we see that the data fields of the 1.4.1 Item Master Maintenance menu from QAD are displayed. Fields highlighted in orange are key fields. When a value is changed in any of these fields, a new Item Master record will be created. Gray fields are read-only fields, so the values from these columns will not be uploaded into the QAD database. Green fields are fully writable fields, so we can edit the value in these columns. For this demonstration, we will change item ABC for all items. Since this is a standard Excel spreadsheet, we have all of Excel's functionality, so we can simply copy-paste data from one cell to other cells. Now let's also create a new record for a new item. We can copy the information from the last line in the spreadsheet and change only the information that is different for this new record. This eliminates the need to manually enter new items. We can leave some of the values empty for columns which are commented and have the loader set default values for them. Once we have reviewed our data, we simply click the Upload button to send our new data to QAD. A pop-up screen displays the status of the upload and will indicate if the upload is successful or if our data contains any errors. Just like all our loaders, the Item Master Data Loader validates data in the cells against QAD logic, and it will return an error message if inaccurate data is submitted, as in this case. When we encounter an error, we simply close the status window and correct the error before attempting to upload the data again. We can use the Find Error button to find and fix all errors in the file. Any cell with an error is highlighted in red. When we place the cursor in the cell, the reason for the error is displayed. Again, we must correct the error before resubmitting our data. Let's see if there is another error we need to fix. 
let's see if there are any other errors we must fix. And there are no more errors, so let's try to upload again. And this time the upload is successful. We can close the status window, and we can now download again to verify that our new or edited information was uploaded. And we can see all information uploaded successfully to QAD. As mentioned earlier, another important feature of Item Master is the ability to define user access or restrictions. For instance, allow users to update only certain fields or restrict users from creating new items. This is done by defining access in the user work file. For example, if we have these restrictions set up in the user work file, then user MFG is the only one who can modify all fields and add new items. User MCE can modify only the group field. User NLM can modify group and promo fields. User OS can modify ABC and revision fields. Let's log in as user MCE, download items, and try to modify ABC and add a new item. Okay, now let's try to upload. We see when we try to upload that we have errors. The error messages indicate that we are not allowed to modify the ABC field or create new items. Let's download again and try to update only group this time. And this time, the upload is successful. As demonstrated, this easy-to-use productivity tool enables you to easily manage a large number of item master records in convenient Excel spreadsheets and upload the data safely to QAD. 32Soft's Item Master Data Loader will increase your productivity, reduce errors, and significantly contribute to your bottom line. For more information about this and other productivity tools, or to start your free 60-day trial, email us at contact at 32soft.com. And please be sure to visit our website to sign up for our free educational webinars, www.32soft.com. Thank you for your interest in our productivity tools and for watching this demonstration.